Well, 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 do I have an interesting one for you today. Have you ever seen a PCB that bends? I'm not gonna do that too much because I don't wanna damage the traces, even though the design is actually meant to be like this. This is what they call a SAM unit, S-A-M. I'm gonna try my best to explain exactly what this is. It's probably not gonna make any sense. So the SAM unit is supposedly a fuse box which sits in smart cars. And the description says it's not just a fuse box, but the central control unit for all the car's electrical systems. They usually fail due to the ingress of water into the electronics, a common fault on roadsters. It works in conjunction with your ECU dash and keys. So it's quite an important piece of kit in your car. Someone who watches our videos got in touch and asked if we'd be able to repair this one for him. This is what the customer said. I don't know exactly what's wrong with the board. The car it came out of was serviced, so I believe the problem lies in the SAM unit. Occasionally when driving the car, it would go into safe mode, which caused the car warning lights to illuminate and stop. The car would almost restart immediately. I read online that this can be caused from whiskers of the lead-free solder causing a short, but perhaps it could be caused by a broken fuse. I thought replacing the lead-free solder would be a good idea, but I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of solder joints on this unit and the board is designed to bend. The first thing I done was check the traces on the bend that you can see here from solder point A to solder point B on both sides, just to make sure we had good enough connections, which we did. Every single test point you hear, yes, I went through every single one, does have continuity. My colleague who was disassembling this took out a fuse and one of the fuses was snapped, so we have noted that on the job. However, I'm gonna show you something under the scope. I love the quality on this camera. These are the very small solder joints that I just showed you. Majority of these look okay. They don't look too bad. This one isn't in fantastic shape, but is still soldered. If I show you some of these joints which have been marked, for example, this one, you can see that the solder is cracked around the actual pin and you might be able to see just a little bit of wiggle there. It's not just that one that's affected. This one, for example, isn't soldered very well because it's more like a cone. This one is also not looking that great. These ones are specifically on the bend where the board bends. And look at this one as an example. You can see that the pin itself is coming away from the trace. And it's not just one, we have a whole row of them here. And even though I'm getting continuity, these are clearly not soldered that great. They're soldered from factory, but they definitely need a touch up of some leaded solder. I think this is what's causing intermittent issues when the unit is bent and fitted in the box. But you can see these are not strong solder joints at all. So what I'm gonna be doing in today's video is going over majority of these solder joints and inspecting every single one, just to make sure that we don't have any cracks on the outside of them. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to test the unit here because we don't have a smart car in the shop. But I think with the fuse replaced and cleaning up all those dry solder joints, it may fix the issue. Unfortunately, the SAM unit doesn't fit inside our ultrasonic cleaner. So there was a lot of flux, therefore a lot of cleaning with a toothbrush and cotton buds. After all the soldering, I inspected all of the joints and they look a lot better than what they did before. If I wanted this job to take 1000 days, what I could have done was wicked away all of the unleaded solder, but that would have taken such a long time. And I don't really think it's needed as long as you have a good solder joint. Once we get a reply from the customer, I'll try and leave a pinned comment to let you know if the unit works or not. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.